So we have a lot of lemon meringue trees around the grove. It's a very popular variety. And unfortunately, this is really typical. Uh, we've got uh, four trees almost in a row here, and uh, they flowered late, and they have very small and not very much fruit on them. So here's one of them, a little bit of fruit on the top. Got some more up there. This seems to have a, a decent side, this one little cluster, a little bit larger fruit, but most of the tree is empty. And then again, this is really sort of weird. You have a few clusters of fruit. Of course, the tree is not going to hold that many fruit on a panicle to, you know, hold it to maturity. But we have a few of those, but then the rest of the tree is almost empty. And you can tell from the leaves these, that this particular tree was a victim of powdery mildew. These leaves were young when the powdery mildew was, uh, was active. And so this is what it looks like later on, uh, you know, when, it, when the, um, the new leaves are really young is when they get hit, but then the damage lasts, uh, you know, for the whole life of the leaf. So anyway, not great news in general for lemon meringue, but there's one tree that is sort of the exception to the rule. So let's go take a look at that. So this, of course, is our star performer. Just a lot of mangoes in this whole area. Not so much on the other side of the tree, but a ton on this area. And so I'm always wondering what causes this. When there's uh, every other lemon meringue in the grove is not doing well, and this one is doing really well. So there are several things that could be happening. Uh, one thing is that this is in a different environment. Uh, it's not surrounded um, by nearby mango trees. There's, you know, there's a few that are a fair distance away from it. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of air circulation. It's got this wall over here that, you know, does block some weather. Uh, this is to the south of the tree, so it's not like it's blocking cold weather, but it, it does block some wind coming out of the south and southeast. So there's one possibility that seems actually quite probable as far as a reason why this tree is doing so well. After Har sprays the trees in the grove, he rinses out the tank of the sprayer. Now, instead of just dumping that rinse on the ground or whatever, typically he sprays this tree. So this tree is getting diluted, whatever he sprayed out in the grove, and more frequently, because when he sprays, he does one section of the grove, and then the wind starts kicking up for the day, and he stops. Come, rinses out his sprayer and uh, sprays his tree. So the two things that could be really beneficial to this particular tree in, as, in so far as encouraging uh, fruit is that uh, the one thing is it's getting a, you know, spray, a diluted spray very frequently. Uh, it could be the actual nutrients in the spray that are helping uh, this tree, but it could also be that it is getting basically spray washed uh, very frequently. So perhaps when the powdery mildew spores were around, they got washed off of this tree before they could do any damage. Whatever the reason, we're really happy we have at least one tree that has some very nice fruit coming along on it.